Welcome to the Oregon Government Ethics Commission Electronic Filing System Instructional Video. This video is the third in a series that is designed to assist users with the Oregon Government Ethics Commission's new electronic filing system through recorded navigation of the live website. This instructional video is specifically designed to guide annual verified statement of economic interest filers through their personal profile completion to the jurisdiction or jurisdictions in which they are designated. There are many benefits to this new online application. It provides a secure login, 24-hour, 7-day-a-week access, allows users to log in to update changes to filer records as they occur, and provides an efficient and effective way to meet the reporting and filing requirements found in ORS Chapter 244. During the course of this instructional video, the following topics will be discussed. How to create your user profile, and how to navigate additional account features and system requirements. It is important to note that even though the method in which you provide the information has changed, the required information and filing dates have not. To get started, you will need to locate the system-generated email from the Oregon Government Ethics Commission. The email subject line should read, SEI Filer Invitation to Create Account. The invitation will be addressed to you as a jurisdictional contact assigned you. Within this email are instructions and a system-generated invitation link. You will use this link to access the electronic filing system. If you have any additional filing requirements under ORS Chapter 244, each assignment by a jurisdictional contact will generate an email invitation. You will be required to accept each invitation. This acceptance is what combines your positions to one filing requirement. You will select one of these positions to create your personal account profile. After the initial Create a New Account, you will select the link in the additional invitations. If you are routed to the Create a New Account interface, you will log in. You will not create a new account for each position. If you cannot locate the system-generated email from the Oregon Government Ethics Commission, contact your jurisdictional contact and request the invite token. The jurisdictional contact can provide this code to the filer. The filer can then manually log in to the electronic filing system. Instructions on how to log in manually will be provided in the Statement of Economic Interest Filer Electronic Filing System Instructional Handbook, available on the Oregon Government Ethics Commission's website. If you are a required filer viewing this instructional video, but have not received an email, or you are no longer serving in the position, please contact your jurisdictional contact. The jurisdictional contact will be able to confirm your assignment. It's important to note the system-generated link in your invitation email will be good for 30 days from the date you are assigned. You will need to complete your personal account profile prior to this expiration. Due to the upcoming filing period, you will want to complete your account profile before March 15th of this year. Once you have clicked on the system-generated link in your invitation email, it should open the default browser on your system and present the Create a New Account profile. By selecting the system-generated link, you have been directed to the Oregon Government Ethics Commission Electronic Filing System Create a New Account Interface. As previously noted, you will be required to accept each invitation. After the initial Create a New Account, you will select the link in the additional invitations. If you are routed to the Create a New Account interface, you will log in. Do not complete a new account for each position. Now, a few of the system's features will be reviewed before beginning the instructions on creating a personal profile. The cursor will point out the feature discussed. The system header. The system header is constant. It is the top portion of the web page and contains a navigation bar to help users move between common areas on the site. The system header features the login, logout, welcome message for users that are registered, and navigation features, for example, to go back to the welcome page. The page header. This header is used to identify the functions of the page and, at times, it will also contain additional navigation features. Body of the page. You will create and edit here. As you key in information, the page will scroll up and not be visible. You will need to scroll to view all fields. Use the scroll bar located on the right-hand side of your browser to navigate up and down. For additional navigation, the Browser Back button is located in the upper left-hand corner of the web browser's toolbar. The browser back navigation will allow you to return to the previously visited web page. You will be creating your own personal profile account as a Statement of Economic Interest Filer. You will be creating your own personal profile account as a Statement of Economic Interest Filer. It's important to note that you will only have one personal profile. To complete this process, you will select a username and password, create two password security questions, verify the pre-populated personal profile information is correct, and you will also have the option of identifying an alternate contact person to receive reminder notices assigned to your position as a Statement of Economic Interest Filer under ORS 244050. Create your personal profile, username and password. You will choose a username,
you will choose a password. Passwords must have a minimum of one upper, one lower, one numerical digit, and one special character. Refer to the accepted special character list in the text help. Using a special character not listed in the accepted character list will result in a failure to successfully complete the registration process. Confirm your password. Passwords must be at least 8 and not more than 20 characters long. Choosing your security questions. You will now choose security questions for the purposes of password retrieval. It is important to note that the answers are case sensitive when requesting password retrieval. Personal profile information. It is the filer's responsibility to maintain their profile information, which includes address, phone number, and email. Your date of appointment, last name, first name, email, phone number, and address have been entered by the jurisdictional contact based on information currently available. Please review to ensure that it is accurate. It's important to note that you can only edit your own personal profile information. You cannot substitute another individual to your assignment. If you need to terminate your assignment or are newly appointed, contact the jurisdictional contact within the jurisdiction you are serving. The jurisdictional contact has the administrative ability to add or delete you from the seat. You will not have the ability to terminate or add yourself to a position or a seat. Alternate contact email. This step is optional. If you elect to provide an alternate contact, you can select the checkbox to ensure this individual will receive all notices related to your position as a Statement of Economic Interest Filer under ORS Chapter 244. When keying the email address, you will need to either key the at sign or click in the space after the at sign to complete the email address. Do not use the tab key to transition from the username of the recipient to their domain name. After confirming all information, select Continue. Verifying your registration. You will now be asked to verify your personal profile. Select Continue. Confirmation. If you have successfully registered, the confirmation page will appear naming the jurisdiction you have successfully registered. You will receive a system generated email notification that you have successfully registered. Now that you have successfully created your personal profile, you will now select Log Out. Now that you have successfully created your personal profile, now select Log Out. To log out, use the Log Out feature located in the top right hand corner of the system header. Reminder. If you hold multiple positions, you will need to accept each position by using the system generated link in each invitation. Mark your calendars for the open filing period for the annual verified statement of economic interest report. You will receive a system generated email advising you of when you can log into your account and begin the electronic filing process. It is important to remember the filing dates and required information for the annual verified statement of economic interest has not changed, just the method in which you provide the required information. You will now have access to your account 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to update changes to the filer records as they occur. This concludes the content of this instructional video. If you have any questions during or after your account creation, do not hesitate contacting the Oregon Government Ethics Commission.